question. A man sells three articles A, B, C and gains 10% on A, 20% on B and loses 10% on C. He breaks even when combined selling prices of A and C are considered, whereas he gains 5% when combined selling prices of B and C are considered. What is his net loss or gain on the sale of all the articles? Options A. 10% gain B. 20% gain C. 10.66% gain and D. 6.66% gain Solution It is given that the man gains 10% on A, gains 20% on B and loses 10% on C. Let us try to obtain a set of cost prices and selling prices which satisfies the profit percentage or loss percentage mentioned in the given statement. We can take the cost price of A, cost price of B and cost price of C as rupees 100 each. That is CP1 equals CP2 equals CP3 equals rupees 100. Now let us find the corresponding selling prices based on the given profit percentage or loss percentage. Article A has a cost price of rupees 100 and a profit of 10 percentage. In case of profit, the selling price equals cost price plus profit. Therefore, selling price of article A that is SP1 equals 100 percentage plus 10 percentage of rupees 100 that is 110 percentage of rupees 100. This equals rupees 110. Now, let us consider article B. It has a cost price of rupees 100 and a profit of 20 percentage. Therefore, the selling price of article B, that is SP2, equals 100 percentage plus 20 percentage of rupees 100, that is 120 percentage of rupees 100, which equals rupees 120. Now, let us consider article C. It has a cost price of rupees 100 and a loss of 10 percentage. In case of loss, the selling price equals cost price minus loss. Therefore, the selling price of article 3, that is SP3, equals 100 percentage minus 10 percentage of 100, that is 90 percentage of 100, which equals rupees 90. The cost prices and selling prices of the three articles are tabulated as shown. It is given in the question that he breaks even when combined selling prices of A and C are considered. Breaks even means that there is no profit or loss if the sale of A and C are considered together. That is CP1 plus CP3 equals SP1 plus SP3. Let this be equation 1. It is also given that he gains 5% when combined selling prices of B and C are considered. That is SP2 plus SP3 equals 100% plus 5% of CP2 plus CP3 which implies SP2 plus SP3 equals 105 by 100 of CP2 plus CP3. Let this be equation 2. Now, we can check whether the cost prices and the selling prices we have considered satisfies the given conditions 1 and 2. From the table of cost prices and selling prices, we can see that CP1 plus CP3 equals 100 plus 100, that is 200. Also, SP1 plus SP3 equals 110 plus 90 that is 200. This implies that CP1 plus CP3 equals SP1 plus SP3. Thus condition 1 is satisfied. Now let us check for condition 2. SP2 plus SP3 equals 120 plus 90 that is 210. Also 
105 percentage of CP2 plus CP3 equals 105 by 100 into 100 plus 100 that is 210. This implies that SP2 plus SP3 equals 105 by 100 of CP2 plus CP3. Thus, condition 2 is also satisfied. Thus, the total cost price equals 100 plus 100 plus 100, that is 300. The total selling price equals 110 plus 120 plus 90, that is 320. As the total selling price is greater than the total cost price, it is a gain. We know that gain percentage equals selling price minus cost price divided by cost price into 100. Thus, gain percentage equals 320 minus 300 divided by 300 into 100. This equals 6.66 percentage. Therefore, the right answer to the question is option D.